Welcome back to another episode of the Fan Geared Podcast. I'm Josh. I'm Joey. And I'm Tommy. And welcome to the Fan Geared Podcast. Well, Wait a minute. Oh. I'm not Tommy. You're not. I wish you were. But Where's Tommy? Last I saw him, he was face down in a ditch. Oh. On the, on the side of the I-5. Well, that probably explains it. Yeah. As to why he's not here. Yeah, he wasn't moving, so I just left him there. Mm, that makes sense. If he, you know. You know what they say about a body in motion? Uh, it stays in motion? Yes. <laughs> so you can only assume the opposite is also true. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the Fan Geared Podcast. Today, it is just me and me. It's but, to me. It's to me. <laughs> But no, but no him. He's not here. Yeah, him's not here. Okay, so basically, uh, what we're telling we're, we're going right now, right? Okay. Um, it's you know, Tommy's not here. I'm gonna give it to you straight. Yeah, he's not here. Uh, uh, he he gave me a note that said, "I don't care about the podcast. I don't care about the listeners. I don't care about you two especially." And the last one. He doesn't care about you two. You. Are you talking you two to me right? Sorry. Uh, um, and he said, last thing he said, fine, Joey, you can be number two. Oh, wow. wow. That's what he said. I don't know that he has the authority. See, but he does So I'm still number three, even though there's only two of us? Yeah. What happened Tell when I was gone? Tommy became number one. And I became number two. No, you became, you made I yourself became, number, no, one, number one. And, and you put two. Tommy as number three. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's still number three. <laughs> and you're looking for a new number two. Damn it, you're right. Well, I think one thing we can all say for sure is uh, I'm the captain now. I'm the captain now. Tom? Tom. No, not here. Okay. Uh, just a pile of clothes where you would be. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, it's still Tommy. Guys, how many of you like a uh, little thing we like to call music? Oh. Show of hands. One, two. Oh, we'll take any, any, cool, any cool. takers. All right. So some people like music. Do you like music? I do like music. What kind of music shirt are you wearing right now? That's not representative of the music I like. I mean, it kind of is. That was I mean, not anymore. I representative in the past, like, five minutes. I didn't. I don't remember the first time. No, I wasn't to you. I sent out a message that said representative. Was I not in the room five minutes ago? No, you weren't. All right. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> anyway. Do you want to talk about that? No, I don't. Okay. Anyway. Um... Yeah, music is something that we were both in a band at one point. Uh, yeah. We played a couple shows. We played a couple shows. Tommy was there for both times. Tommy was also in our band. He was in a band. We played a couple good shows. But I want to... This is what I want to talk about. Well, I'm just trying to d- demonstrate our... Oh, well, like what kind of music? Our appreciation of the musics. Right. We were in a band. We go to a lot of local concert shows. Mm-hmm. We go to a lot of uh, regular concert shows. The one that costs more. Yes. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of where we stand, I guess, a little, without getting too much into the genre right now yeah. of that. I think it's important. I, in, in order to talk about what I want to talk about, I want to get into the, the genre. What's the genre? What genre? Well, I well, like a vast well, not, number not genre, of genres. But sort of mainstream versus underground. Mainstream Mainstream versus <laughs> mainstream versus second stream. No, that's still bad. Why? You're getting a dangerous territory. What's here. second stream? Second stream. What? Like when you pee? Yeah. So you got you got a semen no, blockage. Yeah, okay. It's not that, <laughs> this is not that kind of show. Okay. All right. No, we're we're into music, so it's explicit now. Nobody yeah, puts a, that on their albums. Anymore. They have to. No, they don't. Yes, they do. I haven't seen that, and I don't know how long. When was the last time you bought a CD? Recently. It probably wasn't explicit. It was. You're they say one fuck. fuck. They say fuck in it. Now we gotta put explicit on this. No, oh, great. Um, no, because this is what I want to talk about, and this is a this is a PSA. A public service announcement. That's what that stands for. When I, when we were young, we listened to a certain kind of music that wasn't as popular in the mainstream. And like most t- 
teenagers or younger, you get this attachment to your music and you're like, oh, mainstream music and all other music fucking sucks. Mm-hmm. It's so bad and it's terrible. Yeah. And then, bad. like most people, well, except for certain people, and those people end up being like the real weird ones. Mm-hmm. Um, most people, you grow up and you start to realize like, oh, like there are I there are music there's music in the mainstream that there are music there are music <laughs> there are music out there there's no there's more music in the mainstream that you will like and I think that comes with sort of finding why you like music or anything really this could translate to movies or TV anything and what I found is that I appreciate good writing mm-hmm. so that has gotten me into other genres is a band uh, called Transit that, like, listening to their music... Sorry, Translit. Translit. Trans- it, Trans- like a bus. Transmit. Or like a, uh, like a subway. Transmit. No. Um, and I wouldn't normally listen to that type of music, but... Transit? Like, what kind of music is Transit? Uh, it's like... It's like bordering on the edge of, like, Kind of like what Tommy listens to, where the voice, the rock sound, of, where the voice is kind of like... Maybe for a, for a point of reference, you should say the kind of music you do listen to. No, I do listen to Transit. Yeah, but, but that's, that's, oh. that's, that's, you said that's a departure from what you listen to, which we have no idea what that is. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but I was trying to make a point. Which means almost to, nothing. Well, no, I was just trying to make a point that it's a type of music that I wouldn't normally listen to. Joey and I grew up in the streets of... Uh, Downtown Los Gatos. Oh my god. We didn't, okay, one, we did not grow up in the streets of downtown Los Gatos. <laughs> the streets of downtown Los Gatos are better than most homes. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. Their crime rate is a 0%. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you'd think it'd be higher because all the nice houses, but it's. Yeah, it's no. Just, yeah. They, don't, they stay away. Because yeah. the cops like to be down there. They don't want to be where all the crime is. That's true. Like, uh, so we should not be talking about that. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, uh, so, so basically, we grew up listening to like a lot starting of starting out with like Lincoln Park. Oh yeah, Lincoln Park is a classic. Those, those sort of the the rock. It's the rock genre. Yeah, and that was mainstream at the time, I guess. But like, yeah, no, but, but that's like where we started, and then we move into right. We got into the your uh, your post hardcore, you know. We got, I like a lot of, well, we like, like, some progressive, progressive and experimental. experimental shit, you know? Yeah. That kind of thing. You like, know? right now, like, all-time favorite bands. I thought you were going to say your favorite band is all-time low. No, that, that's not true. It's just not true. I do like all-time low. Um, it would be like, like, for me, it's Circle Survive. Circle it's, Service. It's Coheed and Cambria. Coheed and Cambridge. Probably, like, uh, I don't I don't really know past that, but like Lydia's up there. Lady um, and Jane. For me, Transit is up there. Really. Transmit. <laughs> it's not Transmit, goddammit. <laughs> Stop saying that. What about I at Midnight? Oh, I the Mighty, <laughs> for sure. They're up and coming. Look them up. I they're the Mighty, be, they're, they're, they're formerly a local band. Uh, oh, I know we what else I want to talk about. Too, knew okay. them for a long time, and well, now. Well, all they're, these uh, bands are like really. They're, they're big. Well, Lydia's not really that big, but yeah. Circus Survive and. Coe and Cambria service. are big bands, and like they weren't when we started listening to them. Right. But like, I don't want to start talking about this yet. Okay, back to my main point. You know what kind of music we used to like or we do like, and then I want to make the point that like, because of the writing, because I'm I can recognize good writing, it that will get me into a band that normally I wouldn't listen to, mm-hmm. and that's why now I like a lot of I like a lot of rap. And just anything. Okay, so I like a lot of rap too, but we like very different raps, apparently. That is true. We do. We listen for different reasons. I mean, I like the ones that you like too, though. Yeah. I'd say it's music uh, is interesting. Uh, a point of contention here. Uh, music is probably the one medium in which it's not the writing that I'm looking for, at least lyrically. Uh, I do appreciate good writing but the main thing is that the sound so, is atypical yeah i don't like four four time i don't like and that's why i i can say with 100 percent certainty if i had to listen to the radio for any extended period of time 
I'd probably just end it. See, I don't know. I think it depends on what radio station you're listening to. Because mm. some of them. Didn't. Honestly, I think maybe even a rock radio station is even worse than yeah. a than a no, pop honestly, station. No, honestly, that's that's true. Because the songs they're playing are like appeal to everybody. It's straight. it's pop it's that's playing thing. off as trying to play off as rock. Right. But. I don't know because and I think it's what's what can be difficult is recognizing um, sort of the differences with different genres and like why this is good writing and and I think that's because I, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine who doesn't exclusively listen to rap but that's his main genre he's like really into it like beyond beyond any level that we are and we were basically talking about how the rules for different genres are so different and the, the, the topics and certain words that you can use uh, in like rap music are so different from rock for the most part you know these the genre that we listen to it, you basically have to be serious every song has to be about something serious there's no there's no comedy sort of involved and and then it starts being a separate comedy rock genre but in rap you can say something goofy or, or use a you know like a reference a random celebrity that like doesn't really make sense to what you're talking about but you can just say it and that's fine and that song will be played on the radio and so i think it's you really have to understand the differences in order to understand why they are good and i think mm-hmm. if you're somebody who hasn't delved into that and listened to a lot of it automatically automatically you're going to be like i don't like this this is stupid it doesn't make sense um, and I think the majority of people who listen to rock music view rap music in that way. And if they actually like listen to it and like listen to it in a more like like study study it, mm-hmm. then you'd be like, oh, okay, I see why this one's interesting. I see why this is a good rap rap song versus this other one over here. Mm-hmm. This one's just lazy. This one is actually doing something unique. It's just yeah. they're so minute that you can't you don't recognize them if you're not That's fully true. involved with the the genre astro astronautilus astronautilus i was a uh, favorite rapper best rapper astronautilus um see i can tell you why i probably why you like him i know exactly why i like because him. for his, what i just said his is so vastly different yeah exactly yeah his that is, that so is clearly different right it's exactly. not subtle at all right it's very different he, he's a rapper Technically, but he's also almost everything else. Yeah, he's like is he like a poet and like yeah, all yeah. These other things? He's like he, he's an artist, right? Uh, like, yeah. And I told you this the other day. He was recently at the uh, Eau Claire's is what it's called. Oh yeah, tell that story. Uh, festival. That's, it's really interesting. Um, he's definitely someone who is not satisfied just doing music mm-hmm. and just doing music in the way that it's been done or the way that other people do it or whatever. He had been promoting for a long time um, his involvement at, at that festival um, with these weird promo images of him, like, dressed as a preacher in all white, and he's got, like, a grill, and there's a phone number on it you can call, and it's like, uh, you can be saved if you call this number, mm-hmm. and, uh, like, all this stuff or whatever. Like, And then, so what that ended up being, at the festival was a confessional booth in which you could go if you're attending this festival into that booth and confess your sins to astronautilus and then he would freestyle rap back to you yeah like about that and what you have to do to save your soul and live forever right (laughs) and um so I guess for what he said was that for a little while it started out kind of like as a what is this and like kind of like jokey some people going in jokingly or whatever and like trying to kind of make sense of what it was and then after a while it got really serious and people started going there with intent to actually confess things and tell him things that they hadn't told anybody else before and stuff like that mm-hmm. and people were crying and he was crying and all this stuff and for two straight days he did that and he did over 300 that's crazy it's like yeah that that to me is good music yeah and see see that's the artistic side of i'm gonna cough real quick okay (coughs) 
Uh, don't even bother to like, stop the sound. Whatever. But like that to me, <laughs> that to me shows like the artistic side that I think is in all music really. That's just a very literal like it's taking it out of the context of music so that you can plainly see oh like this is this is something different. This is beyond what we normally get out of just listening to a song. Yes. But it but it's still embodies the what he's trying to say in his music or what he wants people to get out of it. Right. I guess in a way. Right, right. Yeah. But, and uh Yeah, no, go ahead. Okay. Um but yeah, just getting back to to what I was saying, there, there's more to every genre than what you hear in the mainstream, and and that's what I was saying. You know, back to my original point about transit, as to why I listen to him. Finding the, those reasons why you why you listen to certain music, that's going to help you bridge out to every every genre. Mm-hmm. Like for me right now. I can tell you there's maybe one or two country songs oh, that I would ever want to listen to again. Yeah. And I don't even have the so much so that I or so little so that I don't have the desire to follow my own advice and <laughs> and try to listen to more because of what I I think that 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 genre is probably going through sort of a revolution right now because it seems to be different than it was 15 years ago in the mainstream it's getting more electronic yeah it's getting more poppy and 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 i don't like what's being made but i'm glad that something different is happening because i feel like in that genre well the fact that something different is happening only proves that country music is almost solely uh, for or a business and it's moving to because electronic music is getting more yeah. popular now. All pop music now has like some sort of EDM aspect to it, yeah. and now so does the country music, which is weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it doesn't fit because it's it's basically like this old style of music with older yeah. men usually yeah. as the singers. Yeah. You know what's and, funny? And then like this Go young ahead, sa- this young sound. Yeah, with like the EDM as the backtrack. Yeah, yeah. So it is. Very confusing for you. Yeah. You know what's weird is um, I was talking to Michael the other day, yeah. and um, he was saying that he was talking at the t- with the cooks at work one time about like because some of them they listen to the to like music from Mexico like oh yeah, yeah. The music you know like the the style of music that you always hear like the mariachi the, yeah that you hear here mm-hmm. and he was talking to some of them and say like oh do you guys like like that kind of music. And they said, no, it's it's seen as hokey. It's literally, it's that's the country music of Mexico. Oh, really? And it's basically people talking about, oh, my dog died, and I had to get a truck, and stuff. Oh, it's... It's oh, wow. literally the same thing. Oh, wow, I didn't yeah. know that. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Because to me, country music... I'm also not about that lifestyle at, at all. Well, yeah, exactly. We don't <laughs> re- relate to the lifestyle and to me sense, when i like look at the lyrics and listen to these songs the writing is so just like it's a template it's so like first draft it yeah. feels like yeah and it's just like right. okay here we go i i put, put a in the twang in my voice yeah. and did you put in the tr- the truck part and the horses did and put in the america part beer and and i think it's getting away from that I think because they're finding it like, oh, that doesn't relate to a younger crowd these days. That's why they put in the Well, the younger crowd wants to relate to that, though. And now it's like about... They want to pretend that they do. Yeah, yeah, but now it's turning back and trying to get... Trying to actually find things that they relate to. But now it's all about, like, dancing. Yeah. And, like, things like that. Because that's that's what pop has done for how many years? Yeah. Talk about moving. Talk about, you know, what these people want to do when they're having fun. Mm-hmm. Instead of being like about de- being depressed and drinking and your love life and things like that, that that country music has always talked about. But I would just like to see that that genre become more real instead of just yeah. more of the same. Like somebody, and I feel like it would be so easy right now for someone who, and and there probably are. I probably just don't know them. Yeah. Um. I hear I hear Keith Urban is different but that's also because he's not american 
Right. <laughs> he's an Australian country singer. So, Which is... So that's why I feel like he has a different perspective right. than the majority of the people who... That's the other thing. Maybe that's why I don't like country. Because I hate, like, the American... Like, um, over-patriotic, overly yeah, patriotic. But, like, like, just the culture. Yeah. Maybe because we're so immersed in it all the time. Yeah. But is country music popular outside of the U.S.? I don't know. Like, I have no idea. I'm not sure why it would be, uh, yeah, I don't, but it probably is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're, they're singing, a, like, about America. Yeah. Solely, so why would it... And like they it? legitimately don't like you. <laughs> oh, other countries? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. If you're from a different country, they, yeah, they're not singing to you for a reason. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. So I I mean I there there are many things I can say about country music, but I think this is how I like to well, I don't like to think this is how I think of it. Um every bass genre is represented in the mainstream. Mm-hmm. And all of those the those acts that are represented in the mainstream are kind of like the Olive Garden of Italian food. Strip every all the flavor, all the authenticity out of it, make it one thing that the majority of people can like, mm-hmm. if it's bland or whatever, as long as everybody can just eat it and be okay with it for a little bit, then that's that's mainstream music. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the definition, but <laughs> I f- see I almost want to say and I I can't remember. You know, I'm I want to think back to like 10 years ago. I don't really, I was not paying attention to mainstream music at all. Mm -hmm. So I don't really remember what was on there, what kind of songs were being, I mean, I do know the songs. I don't even like old mainstream music. Like people say like, oh, music's gone so downhill. And then the counter argument is no, just in the mainstream. Mainstream music has almost always been terrible. I don't like even popular stuff for that's old. I don't know. I feel like today because of, you know the internet and clout that people have because before it was just like radio plays they were literally determining how like who was the top song and you know how many radio plays you get but that's not the audience deciding no that's just oh we have our radios on and they're the ones who are deciding to play it but now Even, even less so because um labels can just pay to get right right. Exactly. (laughs) exactly so but now we have you know when you're ranking these things and counting up, you know, Spotify views, iTunes views, whatever, that's, that's people, the audience deciding what they want to listen to. Right. And I feel like we're seeing more of an underground sound because of that come up to the mainstream. Huge example. It's like, like a Kendrick Lamar where he may have a one or two songs on an album that are like kind of mainstream. I'd say he is the best rapper that has ever been in the mainstream. I mean, there's strong arguments for him. And that's because, one, it's great writing. Yeah. And it's, it's not... It's not fucking bullshit. Exactly. It's real oh, stuff. Yeah. He's, and, and some... You know, white people might not like that it's like that, but it is, and that's what makes it good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's genuine. You definitely feel yeah. that. Um, but also, like, it, it's... He's not even trying to be have a main he's not trying to have a mainstream sound right i mean i would say his part in bad blood that <laughs> seems so out of character it does not need to it be doesn't, I don't, first of all I don't because i i like taylor swift i'm going to see i don't well i mean I, I don't listen to taylor swift yeah but i will go see taylor swift live yeah, right and i am I don't know. She makes pop songs like nobody's business. Like right, they oh, are yeah. the top of the pop. Show. Oh yeah, yeah. They're like yeah, yeah. Her hers are say what you want about Taylor Swift. Hers are the best pop songs. Yeah. There, there's not even a question. Yeah, and it's not even like saying that is in like our opinion is that she's good at that. It's like when you look at the pop genre of what it's trying to be, of uh, the the technicality of like what it's trying to do. Right. Every song hits those marks yeah. of being like attractive to the ears. Yeah, like following that four four mm-hmm. beat. Yeah, um, but also being different enough. Yeah, I, I would that say att- that make you that make them stand out. I don't know the difference between a Pink song, a Kelly Clarkson song, a Jesse J song. I can listen to th- a song by all three of those singers back to back. 
And if I if, and if there was no skip in in between songs, I would have think it was just the same, same song. song. Yeah, yeah. Not, the the never, song was just nine minutes long. <laughs> right, right. And Taylor Swift has this like, Taylor and it's song, and it's because yeah. and I mean you, it has to be said that it's because she has the best people working on her oh, music. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I, and in fact, we looked it up the other day. She makes a shit ton of money. Yeah. We looked this up the other day because we were listening to the Backstreet Boys, Ooh. and there's, I forget the guy's name, he's a Swedish producer. He has produced, um, if you look at his the list of songs he's produced, mm-hmm. um, like all of Britney Spears' top hits, wow. all of Backstreet Boys' top hits, um, all of, most of Taylor Swift, mm-hmm. Katy Perry, um, who else was there, like, and like three other of the, the biggest names within the past 20 years, this guy has been a part of it. Wow. And it's because this guy probably understands exactly what that pop sound is, yeah. exactly how to make a song like that. Yeah. Like, this is not a coincidence that yeah. she's the best. She has the best people, Yeah, and they all know how to do this. But, I mean, I think it's less fit into those things and more take those things and, and put onto them. Like, have right. them, yeah, yeah, yeah. but put onto them more. Right, and I think that's what it is. Is it because I can listen to a Taylor Swift song like "Bad Blood" or any of her other any of her other new ones. I think I think her latest album's her best. Easy. No, yeah, yeah. The more her latest album is, is her best album. Easy. Yeah, and um, it has it's because I've been I worked in a uh, roller skating rink for a, a good while, and we just had to play the our playlist was just whatever's on the radio. Right, like currently, mm-hmm. and I mean, I eventually got moved up. I got to put in some, not like ideally what I would want to listen to, but like at least something more to what I would want to listen to, and um, but li- list some songs I would. L- it's like literally listening to a wall of music of sound. That's all just song after song. It's the same thing. Over and over again, and that's what I think sets Taylor Swift apart. Is that yeah, is that extra something? It doesn't sound exactly the same. Right. It may it has all the parts, all the same parts, but it's not so bland. Mm-hmm. True. I, ooh, ooh, I don't like it. We're gonna take a break. <coughs> I'm gonna cough again. But before we go to the break, Tommy. Give us your 10-second review. All right, ready, set. Hold on, hold on. Okay, hang on, get Let it me out. get the clock ready. All right, clock's ready. And 10 seconds on the clock, Tommy, ready, go. Oh, time's up. I'm sorry. Up. He didn't well, fully get his thought out there. All but right, we'll see you after yeah, the break. Maybe if you see him on the street, you can uh, ask him what, what the you, end what of that review that? is. Yep. Uh, yeah, we'll see you after the break. Bye. Welcome back from the break. Did you have a refreshing break, audience? I hope you did. Because I, let me tell you, what did you do during the break, uh, Joey? I don't want to talk about that. Okay. Um, oh, actually, I dueled. He did dueled. Um, I uh, watched two minutes of Avatar. <laughs> yes, you did. The Last Airbender, the TV show. Obviously. I wonder what Tommy's doing right now. Mm, well, he's probably still in that ditch. If he's dead, I don't imagine he's doing much else. You think nobody found him by now? Uh, well, he could be in a dumpster somewhere. Yeah, they probably found him and just left him there. Thought he was a skeleton from years before. Skeleton from years before. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> he did. They're he like, oh, wow, that person's probably been dead for yeah. hundreds of years. Actually, someone uh, did just post a, a a video of him on Instagram, so it's probably the killer. What? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wait, well, what's the video? I didn't watch this. Oh, it was him on the Dika Prize. <laughs> 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 Wait, I thought... <laughs> We're, good. we're going on a hashtag tangent we're on right hashtag, now. But this is irrelevant. I want to I want to watch this live. Uh-oh. Okay, we're going to... Let's both bring it up. <laughs> well, you might have to bring it up, because I don't know... Oh, no. oh, yeah, no, here it is. You see it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. you follow? No, but I just looked up her name. No. That's great. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I haven't heard it with audio, so... Okay, so... Put it up to the...
Does he talk? Yeah, he says really hard. It's really hard. It's <laughs> really hard. <laughs> Tommy Costa oh, spinning yeah. teacups. All right. Well, anyway, <laughs> back to the back to the podcast. So that's what he's doing right now, and he's supposed to be sleeping. Yeah, he's at uh, Disneyland. Yeah, but we need to be getting freaking ready. We're doing a podcast right oh, now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, music. Uh, I want to talk about the local scene because we are very big into the like the local music. Not big enough. No. Well, we like local music is yeah. what I'm trying to say. True. Um, living in the Bay Area. A lot of the San Francisco of, yeah. bands, a lot of San Jose bands. Santa like Cruz that. bands. Santa Cruz bands. Um, stuff like that. Yeah, you know. Um, what's your favorite? Ooh, that's tough. And you might not like the answer. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, okay. So. Currently local band. Well, they're actually not a band anymore. But well, they do have a band, but it's not the same name. Is it Smash Mouth? No. Although the drummer the, did go to our high school. For those of you who don't know, Smash Mouth was a uh, local band well, for us yeah, back in the day. I guess. So it was Trapped. Trapped. They're from Los Gatos. We, we talked about that place uh, yeah, earlier, earlier today. today. <laughs> or, I mean, early in the podcast. And um, it's still earlier today. So, I mean, obviously, I the Mighty, number one. I the Mighty is like one of the best bands yeah. in the world. Um, I like... I like Yonworth Yelling. Yonworth Yelling is probably my favorite. They're band. very local. Local. Um, also, there's a band who does not exist anymore, but I think I don't remember what their new band called, but they were they're called I Am Ghost. I Am Ghost. I just recently. Oh, you, I have yeah, heard of them. Yeah, you've. I listened. I used to listen to them as like seventh, eighth grade. Yeah, I have heard of them. For um, sure. And their first album is one of the best albums that I've ever heard. Like as an album, mm-hmm. front to back, it's like. I haven't heard it was so ahead of its time I'm still not hearing things as good as this and at the time they were just tiny like I don't even know how they paid for the production of it it's so well produced and then they they broke up after their second album and then a couple of the guys formed a new album I don't remember what their name is something about Requiem did they have a woman? yeah and she but she left and that's they broke up no their second album I don't think she was in it and then and then they broke up after that. Mm-hmm. But to this day, they're they're one of the best local bands I've ever heard. All right. Um, and then I would be remiss uh-oh. if I didn't bring up new uh, new friends. Um, I got to see them when I saw Astronautilus actually last time. Uh, and they're a San Francisco band. They're re- really good. Well, it's a, it's a rap group. They do rap. They do kind of like electro kind of soulfully kind of it's good it's it's kind of what i what i explained earlier where it's like kind of kind of a little bit different yeah um low country kingdom low country kingdom two guys two guys and then they just got a new member uh i forget her name but she's a really really good singer yeah really good uh wait was she the is she on the album at all i don't i mean if she is, then she would be the woman who sings on some songs, but yeah, I don't know that much. it's her. Okay, well, she's doing the live stuff, and I would imagine that with new songs coming out, or oh, yeah, you know, yeah, when they make them, she'll be sure. on them. Yeah, absolutely. She's an official member of the band now. Yeah, she's a great singer. She's a really good singer. But they're called Low Country Kingdom. You should check them out. I believe all their music is actually free on lowcountrykingdom.com. Uh, yeah, so go there, download it. It's It honestly is really yeah. good stuff. Yeah, that's and, really good. And, and their live show is incredible. And if you know that new song... Um, by Nicki Minaj, which is huge right now. Um, they did it first. <laughs> the, she uses a sample that they also that use. they use, and they used it way before. And be my heart, woman, can I be your man? Yeah, that one. And um, they used it like way better too. Yeah, I like, I like this a lot. <laughs> Although I do like the Nicki Minaj song. I'll be I real. I don't actually know that. Song I'll be at all. real. I, I know that she uses it, but I don't know the song. But um, Young Worth Yelling also again. Um, they do. It's it's like kind of indie poppy kind of, but with a uh, with a very technical uh, side to it. The instrumentation is very technical. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yep. And <laughs> and so and something actually, they're a good example too of what I want to talk about. Okay. And I, what I want to talk about is sort of these local bands mm-hmm. 
sort of going mainstream Mm -hmm. and by that i mean gaining a a following and then becoming not necessarily mainstream because they're not like right right well although i believe lev 105 did just play their new song just like it's a one-off thing i think i was like a couple days ago yeah that doesn't surprise me at all um and i'll tell you why a lot of people you know a lot of people fear this word selling out sure i mean i would think that band members fear it more than people because as soon as your audience says that you've sold out they're gonna ditch you although you'll probably have a different bigger audience Mm -hmm. but it's and i think that's sad because you got to think about for these bands if you've been if you follow a local band for five years you're gonna notice that like their audience barely grows Mm -hmm. this stuff takes so long and that means that they're on the road making barely any money for that entire time and they deserve more and so when we, whenever i hear like oh i don't want them to sell out i don't want them to get big like, i think so it's that's so terrible because then what are they working for right this band wants yeah. wants the most people as possible to hear their music mm-hmm. that's what the whole goal is yeah maybe for some bands they're okay with for their entire lives just playing to a, you know 200 people mm-hmm. and that's fine if they want to do that but for the most part, you get into this thinking like, okay, you know, we put we want to put in the grunt work, and we want this to be about us. But eventually, we want more people to hear our music. Right. That, that's what we want. And so, so what I've noticed recently with a couple bands that we like is that their sound has sort of changed, mm-hmm. and it's it's still them. They've kept it like as them th- their sound. Yeah. Um, and it's hard to explain like what that is. Right. It's just right. because it's coming from them, they're able to capture it. Right. Um, but it's a more poppy sound. Yeah, maybe. It's it's just, a, I wouldn't say it's def- yeah. It's I, just more accessible, accessible to yeah. a wider audience. And it's catchy as hell. They're, oh, they're catchy as hell. Well, that's that's basically what what it is. I got myself singing that song like a lot. Which one? The young with young. Start somewhere. Or, yeah, yeah. Somewhere. Oh, I I love that song. And I listen to like a there's billion. There's no easy way to stop this. There's a chance that the both of us will fall in. Yeah. So it's so good. <laughs> it's so catchy. Yeah. And and for them, it's like, or, or as an audience member, it's a fun little ditty. It's a fun little ditty. <laughs> but I, I like I'm okay with them, use like making a more uh, a poppy poppier song, to break them into the mainstream so that they can Absolutely. build a better following yeah and they're still weird their songs yeah well because well they have uh, you haven't heard it i don't think but the uh gotta go is that the other single or is that no no another one from the song? no that's one i heard live a couple times oh and um that's gonna be on the new ep mm-hmm. with start somewhere and yeah. uh, uh the prisoner horn lonely prisoner um but it's um that's a that's a cool song where it's like kind of wild and like they literally count out how weird that song is in the song <laughs> like the melody is just number or, or the lyrics are numbers in time with it yeah and it's like they, yeah they do a yeah. lot of that experimental like different counts yeah yeah, different, yeah. Um, things like that time signatures, time signatures. um but yeah so so them having a more poppy song like, it's still... Uh, I will say this about that song, just because yeah, I'm not going to lie. Because I'm Start Somewhere? It Start Somewhere. Mm-hmm. It doesn't sound... It doesn't really have that sound that they always had. Like, it doesn't say that... It, like, it doesn't feel like them. Mm. I think that one does more so, especially coming off their last EP, um, which was, I thought, a really good EP, a really great EP. Because um, it kind of hearts... They they kind of they were moving in that direction a little bit, and Heartstuck is a really good song, mm-hmm. and it kind of sounds it, it, it's a little bit like that. I would say that more Lonely Prisoner is that though. What you're saying? Mm. Yeah, I think I've only listened to that one maybe once or twice. Yeah, I, I like both songs well. a lot. I I think uh, Start Somewhere is like it's definitely you can tell it's like kind of a milestone song for them. Yeah, because it's like. You, you can tell you that it, this song is like you, and you told me that that's their most popular song, more already, popular than yeah. any of their other songs. They've been doing this for how long? <laughs> I got a cough or something. Yeah, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> Don't like that. Um, 
But yeah, so, I don't know. My PSA, another PSA. You didn't ask for it, but you're getting it. You're unsolicited. Unsolic- is that what I said my segment was going to be? It was something like that, right? Yeah. Unsolicited <laughs> We'll figure advice. that out if we ever do that. <laughs> hey, well, I mean, I'm taking the reins on it this time. <laughs> but it's to it's my advice, I guess, I don't know, is that, you know, understand why these bands are doing this. Mm-hmm. And I think, I honestly think that we, a band that we like, Pierce the Veil, um, I think Pierce we snail. Mi- Pierce Snail. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny when I, when I said that. Yeah. Um, I think we mis sort of misjudged because they sort of went for a more generic sound. Yeah, with I, their most I recent, don't really and it it, it caused them to blow up. Yeah, you know, yeah, live they stopped playing some of their older ones and just sort of service to the the new fans, mm. and and then they put out it and you know we were kind of like done with them. Oh yeah, I feel like yeah. And then a new song comes out. Their new song they put out, and it's oh, like it's good. It's like a game changer again, and it's like oh this is this is really good. They still can. It's great writing. They yeah. can still do it. Yeah. And and I, and now they're playing their old songs again. <laughs> and yeah, and they're playing their old songs yeah. again. So it's like I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, we don't know for sure if that's what they're trying to do make us um, an album that would break them into the mainstream more right gain them a lot more fans but i mean that's what it did and it seems like they're going back to their roots and it's, mm. so it's good i don't think they're that you can a band can sell out i think i mean shit, people can do whatever they want if you want to make music that's four four and you want to be the next taylor swift who's anybody to stop you know what let's do it you know what we're shutting off this day. Actually, keep the podcast running. In fact, we've already done it. Here's a clip. Uh, <laughs> we don't wait. have a clip. <laughs> it's like, wait, are we going to do something? Because <laughs> I have nothing planned. Yeah. Maybe I should ask uh, Jan or Low Country if I can put a song at the... Jan or Low Country? <laughs> like, that's our name? Yeah, that's our name. Is it? Collectively, that's our name. Oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe. You should. I don't know. Hey, man. We make a collab with them. We'll do a podcast collab. Podcast collab? Yeah. Like, they can mm. sing, and then we'll just, like, kind of talk well, about, about some idea or something. <laughs> about uh, some kind of idea. We'll, we'll break down what their what their lyrics are, yeah, or, like, yeah, yeah. Their way, the way they play it, and how it can, you know, like, and tell them how, what they're doing wrong. Joey, where can you find fan geared on social media? Social media? As far as I'm concerned. Nowhere. Nowhere? <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> Twitter.com slash fan geared youtube.com slash fan geared oh fan geared that's where you're listening to this i mean oh yeah hopefully um Um, uh we got facebook.com slash fan geared all your sites and i want to i want to tell you this at vidcon we went to a booth yes and they were promoting their app it's called we mesh it's called we mesh w-e-m-e-s-h and this is not sponsored this is nothing like that we I'm telling you right now, fans. this is, it's a really, okay, so the main purpose of the app is that you can, through them, link with your friends and watch a YouTube video on your respective devices mm-hmm. at the same time. Yeah, it's in perfect sync across multiple devices right. you it, watch. It has a little, like, chat button, or, like, there's, like, a chat, so you can actually be, te- like, texting through that yeah. and all talking while the video is playing. Right. You can also do a voice one and it'll you'll they'll be able to hear your voice yeah. through their speaker. It'll quiet the video a little bit. Yeah, and then play your voice. Mm-hmm. And and like it's a really cool app. But perhaps most importantly, this this is I think this is a revolutionary and nobody knows that you could be the first. And it's great for what we do mm-hmm. because we post a podcast on YouTube. Right. So what it does is it, it allows you to play any YouTube video, you just search it, start playing it. And you can close out of the app and shut, you know, lock your phone or open up a different app mm-hmm. and the run sound will the still background. play. You yeah. can run it in the background. As of right now, you the YouTube app, there's no other way to you do this. You can't do that, no, yeah. You can listen to music, you can listen to podcasts that are on YouTube, which is why it's good for us or our fans. Right. And I, it's revolutionary. Get it, try it out with this mm. podcast. Yeah. Another cool thing you can even do is, like, I can get on, like, I'm, I'm going to do this right now. The real time here. Real time. I'm going to get on, let's say we're going to listen to, we'll, we'll do a yawn worth yelling. 
and I'll search that and then we're gonna pick out a song here one of their videos and it's gonna load I mean it yeah, better that's, I hope so that's my own thing I talked about um, I talked about heart stuck earlier let's do that music video and so what I just did now is I selected that sharing and uh, watching it along with me is available open to friends so friends that I've made through the app are on Facebook who also have the app open to local so the people around me will be able to see that somebody around them is watching that thing they can jump in as well and open to public so anybody on any Wi-Fi or LTE or any any kind of data network you can find me and watch a video with me and we'll watch it together and we'll chat and we'll have a great time so I think that's really cool too because if I have a song like I did this with Joey earlier if I have a song that I want him to hear I can just be listening to it and I can just invite him in to watch that with me and he, we can watch it in real time in perfect sync together from different houses yeah. in fact it, we were like well I was sleeping uh, it was either this morning or yesterday and he sends me an invite to a song that he wanted me to listen to it woke me up like we hadn't been talking or anything yeah. before that and I wake up, I see that I got the invite, just like turned it on mm -hmm. and then like listened to the rest of that song and then I went back to sleep. But, yeah. but like it's crazy that... It's really too bad that we're not getting paid for this. I really <laughs> is. But, but I, this is honestly an app that like I think is good. Yeah. And I think people can really... Like there's so many different uses that you can you can either do the whole social thing and watch videos with your friends or you can just use it as a you know you can turn youtube into a podcast into an audio only podcast right which is what i love most which is what we are but yeah okay so that's enough of promoting uh, all the <laughs> things we app. like all the all the local music and local apps and everything there there they are so yeah we'll see you guys next week what are your favorite local bands what yeah. do you think yeah, of tell us about some new music yeah, yeah 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 um if you live in not where we live maybe you know some other local bands who are uh could use some recognition we love listening to new stuff so because we are big music guys mm, and hopefully we find tommy oh yeah yeah tommy's so i mean maybe he flew off that teacup and like into that ditch it, oh that would make sense actually. yeah uh, well, well who knows? i don't really care so yeah. <laughs> bye bye